Hello guys, welcome back. This is Dr. Hari here. Uh, today we will discuss another topic that is bond energy for bond value. I have already recorded this lecture in Urdu, so that's why you can see each and everything. This lecture is recorded in. Will be uploaded in my channel, Dr. Rafi Sultan Academy, and this will be uploaded in my other channel, Medical Guru by Dr. Rafi. So let's start with the bond energy. What is bond energy? Bond energy is in, in one molecule, this is a hydrogen molecule. In, in hydrogen molecule, two hydrogen atoms are linked by the help of one bond. So if you want to break this bond, you will need an input of energy. That is, it will break definitely. This energy could be called bond energy. But this is not enough. Some, 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 something is missing there. Why? Because for bond energy, you cannot use just one molecule, you will take specific number of molecules. A specific number is Avogadro number. So you will take this amount, 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 molecules is such a huge number. So when you take this kind of huge number of molecules and then you provide energy. Definitely this time energy would be different. So you provide energy to break all the bonds in these molecules. Then that energy would be called bond energy. So that's why we use one mole of a substance. If this is a substance, this number is one mole. So this is one mole of the substance. Fine. What is the unit for the bond energy? The unit for bond energy is kilojoule per mole. Whenever you uh, you have a molecule, for example, this is a hydrogen molecule, and if you want to break this hydrogen molecule, uh, so it will require 436 kilojoule per mole. Per mole can be written as a line between kilojoule and mole. Or if the line is not there, there must be minus one. In either case, both are right. So it's chlorine, chlorine, 242 kilojoule per mole, and with MCL, 431 kilojoule per mole. That's what that's right. And now, what is the purpose of the bond energy? Why we study bond energy? Bond energy will tell us in, a, in certain molecules either it is strong bond or weak bond. And you know if you if a student knows that which bond is strong and which is weak, with the help of this idea, he or she he can go into the into organic chemistry reaction mechanism and he or she can predict whether the reaction is possible or not. So that's why it's very important to know. Okay, so this was the purpose. Now listen, one last thing is there. Enthalpy of atomization. What is now this? It's just like the bond energy with its light difference. For this enthalpy of atomization, oh, before we go here, I, I would like to tell you this endothermic and exothermic. For breaking of the bond, you need energy. You need an, an, an input of energy that is endothermic process. Similarly, if you want to make a molecule, suppose. This is one hydrogen, this is another hydrogen. And these two hydrogen atoms are not linked. But if you want that these two atoms make a bond, so when they come close together, they make a bond. In this case, once the bond is formed, then the energy will release. This is so interesting to say that similar amount of energy will be released equal to what you gave when you are breaking the bond. So in this case, that's actually exothermic. Exothermic and endothermic, both are bond energy, right? Now, back to the enthalpy of atomization. Atomization, atom. You know, every molecule consists of atoms. Atoms, so if you have a molecule, suppose there are four atoms, A, B, X, and Y. These four atoms are linked to form just one molecule. And there are three bonds. If you want to separate these atoms from each other, you have to break these three bonds. So again, you need an input of energy. 
This energy which you provide to break all bonds in a molecule to get all atoms free, this energy will be called energy of atomization or enthalpy of atomization. But this is again not enough. Why? Because in this case, in this case again, one molecule is not enough. You have to bring certain number of molecules, that is 6.02 Newtons or 20 molecules, to the molecules that you know, provide energy, and then all the bonds within 20 new molecules, not 20, sorry, 6 into 10 is by 20 new molecules. All these bonds, once broken, you will be having atoms and atoms, atoms and atoms only. There will be no molecules. So, this energy will be called enthalpy of atomization. In the next video lecture, we will discuss what we will discuss, what factors determine the strength of. Uh, the strength of a bond means when a bond is strong, when a bond is weak, what are the factors that determine this? So see you in the next video. Thank you.